Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks. Hey, okay. Red Beard. So, uh, we got a new dog here at the house. Bonnie does not like it. Well, she's indifferent. She's doesn't really want to have anything to do with it. Uh, I'll see if I, I'll post a picture or something. Poor dog. I think somebody dumped her. Uh, it's an older Rottweiler mix. Uh, looks like maybe a Rottweiler and Lab. Bonnie, you need a bath? I think you need a bath too. Old girl in the backyard, she definitely needs a bath. But she's a killer. We got her Saturday night. Uh, not bad. Saturday night, well, Sunday morning, this past Sunday morning, probably two or three in the morning. I was asleep, my roommate was up. Y'all saw him in the last video. He was up, him and his lady friend. And out of nowhere, this old, old girl comes just walking up, sauntered up to the bar. And uh, sweet dog, I mean, sweet loving dog. She's been well taken care of from the looks of it. Hadn't missed too many meals. Uh, just come up out of nowhere and just said, all right, well, I'm hanging out. And uh, she's just, we put her in the backyard so she wouldn't get hit or anything. And next thing I know, Sunday, the following, that, that following day, she ended up killing a mouse in the backyard. <laughs> she's, she's spry for her old age. So she killed a mouse Sunday and then uh, Tuesday, Monday, no, Monday, I think Monday, Monday evening, I come home from the gym, and I hear a squeak, squeak, squeak in the backyard. And I, I get out of my get out of my truck, and I hear it. I'm like, "What the hell?" So I look up, and sure enough, she's over there killing a squirrel. I'm like, "God dang! Maybe we'll just keep her in the backyard and just feed her, give her a little house." All right, on to the review. So, this is hey, you hush. Come here, come here. So this is Rebecca Creek. This is the other donation from my friend Wesley Blaylack. This is Rebecca Creek straight bourbon whiskey, special ten, uh, special reserve, ten years old, bottled at forty-five percent. Now this is another Texas company, uh, Rebecca Creek Distillery from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, but when you read on the fine print, it says distilled in Tennessee. So. The straight bourbon whiskey, we know it's probably not, probably not a George Dickel or a Jack Daniel whiskey, uh, but it could be. I mean, it very well could be. If they could source, uh, they could source barrels from Jack Daniel and still call it a bourbon, but when you put it in a Jack Daniel bo bottle, it's a Tennessee whiskey. So, it is, it, just the nose on it leads me to believe that it's in that same vein. Now, it could be, it could be a load of other different distilleries, but it's got that same funky peanutty nose that I get, that I personally get from Jack Daniels and George Dickles. Alright, let me see how it tastes. That is very, very similar to, I don't know if I have any, I'm pretty sure I got a bottle of George Nickel somewhere in the house. I, it might still be here, but that is very similar to that George Nickel. It's, it's kind of got the same presence. Now, I don't know if George Dickel or, like I said, Jack Daniel source out barrels. I'm sure they do. Somebody buys a barrel and say, hey, we're going to buy this barrel and then rebrand it. They say, okay, well, you can't call it a Tennessee whiskey. Well, we can call it a straight bourbon. So, I really feel like that's, it's, it's a toss-up to me. Um, 
everybody knows I'm not really a fan of Tennessee whiskeys. I haven't really, I haven't come across too many whiskeys that are distilled in Tennessee that I particularly care for, but it's not to say that it's not bad. It's just not my preference. We give her one more sip. See how she goes. Like it doesn't smell bad. It smells like a decent bourbon, but there's notes on the nose and the palate that just, it doesn't appeal to me. All right, I'm gonna give her one more sip. I was curious if I took a short break and I went and this is, I've had this bottle of George Dickel Barrel Select for probably going on two or more years now. Uh, I want to see, I've already dumped this one out in my spitter. Uh, I just want to see if there's any, anything similar. Uh, mommy, what? I think you're supposed to, here, since I've had it so long, blast me. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Will you hush? You got to go poop? Probably got to go poop or you're hungry. All right, we'll wrap this up pretty quick. Is Rebecca Creek 10-year George Dickel? It's similar. It's so similar. So this one, the George Dickel, actually has much more like a very alcohol-heavy presence on the nose. But it's, it's pretty close. All right, I'm going to get a sip of this and then we'll call it. Albeit, they are different on the palate. I would, I would almost bet money that I'd be really surprised if they didn't come from the same distillery. Like, I don't think George Dickel's a bad whiskey. I did the uh, George Dickel 13 year bottled and bond review and I gave it my best effort, but I just could not get into it. So I'm gonna lean into it and say that the Rebecca Creek, although it's, I can see what's good about it for me and my, my, my palate, my flavor profiles that I like, it's just not one that I, I, would, I wouldn't buy. It. So uh, thank you for Wes for donating, but I honestly think, I think it might be a source from George Dickel. They have similar characteristics on the nose and the palate, which that doesn't really mean anything, but they are both distilled in Tennessee. So, hey, you never know. Maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Um, yeah, I'm just not a, I just haven't really found anything from Tennessee that I just absolutely loved, so. That's all I got on this one. It's it does taste good. It's not bad, uh, but it's not like I said. I'm. It's just. It's just not what I like. I like. I like like Kentucky bourbons and now some Texas bourbons. So, oh well. That's all I got. Don't forget uh, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all the patrons out there for donating. I appreciate it. Check the description for uh, links to help out with the bills around the house with Patreon and all that stuff. Uh, I haven't updated my Teespring in a while. I've got some old shirts on there. Probably need to spend some time maybe putting up some new designs, doing something with that. Uh, also, check out the Bearded Idiots. Like always, drink some whiskey, show with your friends and family. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Take care. We'll see you next time.